What's up guys, this is Kages of Kages Vlog Channel. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. A story of how the world came to be according to the Philippines myth and folklore. So, stay tuned. Most of us, if not all, are familiar with the popularized Western myths. In fact, it would be a bit surprising but at this point you haven't at least heard the gods and goddesses once worshipped by the Egyptians, the Greeks, and all the Romans. Even the Norse myth of Thor, the thunder god, might ring bells. Though while of these myths are highly fascinating and worth studying once over, there is definitely more obscure folklore out there. Even in countries where the religion might have squashed out the remains of mythological belief. Philippine mythology consists of the same elements found in most other myths, creations, monsters, and beliefs. Though the Philippines is largely if not wholly westernized and Christianized, there are still superstitions that most Filipinos and Filipinas have not relinquished. Certainly, most of the monsters are still used as fairy tale followers to scare the children. Because of the numerous amounts of islands, the Philippines consist of diverse myths from each province, which I would really love to explore the myths in every dialect. One term is not going to cover all 175 dialects found in the country, so I'll be dabbling mostly in stuff I can translate. First. How the world came to be, according to the Visayan myths. In the beginning, there was only water and sky. The water kingdom belonged to the god Maguayan, who had a daughter named Lidagat. The sky kingdom belonged to Kaptan, who had a son named Lihangin. To bring peace about their domains, Kaptan and Maguayan proposed that their children marry. So, this was done. Lidagat and Lihangin had four children, three sons and one daughter. Their three sons named Likalibutan, Liadlao, and Libulan. And the daughter names is Lisuga. Likalibutan had the body of hard rock. And he was strong and brave. Liadlao was made of gold and was always so cheerful. Libulan had a copper body and was weak in mind and timid. Lisuga was made of pure silver in a sweet and gentle disposition. It came to be that the aging of Lihangin and Lidagat soon passed away. Before he died, Lihangin gave his eldest son Likalibutan control of the winds. But a long time had passed in peace and Likalibutan became greedy. He wanted more than just winds at his beck and call. So he plotted against Kaptan, ruler of the sky. After forcing his brothers to join in the plot, Likalibutan stormed at the gates of Kaptan's realm and attempted to invade. Almighty Kaptan, infuriated at this betrayal, summoned the forces of nature and struck each of the brothers in turn. All of them tried to run but to no avail. They were destroyed. Likalibutan's hard rock body scattered into pieces of varied sizes. The pieces fell into the water and it became known as land. Missing her brothers, kind and gentle Suga headed towards the heaven only to be attacked by a rampaging Kaptan who had also struck her head. When, he, when the deed was done, the king of the sky confronted Maguoyan about this attack. The sea god was more patient and logical and eased Kaptan's mind. Soon, both gods began to despair at the loss of their grandchildren. In honor of their grandchildren's destruction, Guayan and Kaptan set parts of their bodies into the sky. The Adlao became what was now the sun, the Bulan the moon, and the Suga shone brightly as the stars. Only the greedy Likalibutan remained where he was for his wicked deeds to serve no honor. Instead, it was decided that his body would become a support for Kaptan and Maguayan's new offspring. And in so doing, the two gods planted on a land a bamboo tree. From this tree, hollow's branch emerged the first man, Sikalak, and the first woman, Sikabai. And the two married and in turn had many offspring. 
Of course, while the ancient Filipino creation myth is widely acknowledged version of the world's creation, there are still other versions from different dialects. In Tagalog, the land's creation was not so inclined to violence. In fact, it was a bird that spurred creation on. Because the bird could find no land to rest its weary wings, it made the water rise towards the sky. As a defense mechanism, the sky dropped pieces of land under the water to prevent it from rising up again. And so the land was made and the bird made its nest and produced children. In Igorot, the great spirit Lumawi came down from the sky towards the unpopulated earth. He cut up reeds in pairs and placed them in different regions. The regions became men and women who spoke different languages. Lumawig helped the people in the early days and watched them prosper. In Mindanao, the moon and the stars were the result of a single spinster woman. In the days when the sky was so close to the ground, a spinster woman came out of her home to pound rice. Rice is pounded by taking a mortar and smashing the bundle of grains on top of a hide placed on the ground. Before the spinster began her work, she unhooked her glittering beads on her neck and untangled her crescent comb from her hair. She hung this on the sky and began to pound. Each time she raised her mortar up, however, the end of the mortar hit the sky, which she called upwards. It came to the point where the sky floated up so high that the spinster's possessions were lost to her. At night, we can still all see it. A crescent comb-shaped moon and the glittering beads like stars are shining in the night sky. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you like the video, please click the like button and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. And lastly, I would like to give a shout out to uh, the winners of our last promo. Uh, this is uh, They are Grace Marie's. Anna Veneri, Michaela Picardal, and Junel Nemo and Sean Israel. Thank you so much for your support. And I do hope next time that you will continue to support my channel. By the way, guys, if you have any stories in mind, please write down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to look onto it. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. And this is KJS of KJS Vlog Channel. See you again next time. Ciao.